Hello, this is Joey with PC Setup and Training, and today I want to show you how to create some basic labels with OpenOffice Writer program. Uh, OpenOffice is a freeware uh, word processor spreadsheet type program that you can get from OpenOffice.org. Uh, to start with, we're going to open the OpenOffice Writer program, which I have an icon on my desktop here. I want to double click on that to get that open. Now we see the uh, word processing page up now and uh, we can certainly write a document from here but we want to create some labels and I'm going to do that by moving the mouse up in the top left corner and clicking on file. Then mouse down to new, mouse over to the next column and down to labels and click. In this uh, screen we can basically fill in the information for our label. If we want to do say a return address label we can actually fill in in this box for label text your return address uh, which I have uh, an example here and when we create a label by put typing it in this box it's going to make a full page of that same label. Next we would have to choose the type of label that we're using uh, down here in the lower right quadrant we've got brand and this should say uh, for most of us it's probably going to be an Avery letter sized. Uh, most of the labels that you find in the store are typically an Avery brand or Avery compatible uh, label and uh, it, it should say on the packaging. So I'm choosing Avery letter sized as the brand. The type of label is the format or size or style of the label and uh, the Avery styles do have a number that's on the packaging, uh, sometimes on the back of the labels themselves, which will indicate the, uh, the label number or style number of that sheet. And uh, So an address label, for example, might be an 8160, uh, which is what I'm using here. <clears throat> the uh, Avery when we click on this uh, bar it does bring down a list and they're all in numeric order so just find the Avery number uh, on your packaging and then just find it in this list in my case I'm using the 8160 which is a fairly standard address label next we would just click the new, bu new document button and that's going to open up a new page with a full sheet of the address that I typed in that box. And uh, you can see how the, lab or the sheet is now sectioned off in the, the sizes of each label. Uh, at this point you can simply feed the Avery sheets into your printer uh, following any instructions your printer may have and simply print this page and you've got your label. Uh, you may also choose to make changes to the style label at this point. If you want to change font or, or size or color, um, you, you can actually do all of that from here as well by simply highlighting uh, selected information and making the changes you want, such as bold uh, or font style, uh, which, whichever you want to do. Next, you might want to have a similar situation where you do a label, but you're uh, putting different names or different information onto each label. I'm going to go ahead and close this screen, and I'm not going to save it, but it's up to you if you want to save yours. Uh, now I'm back to my blank page here, and I'm just going to repeat the exact same process. I'm going to click File, Mouse over New, mouse over to the next column and mouse down to label click only this time I'm going to leave this box for label text empty so simply delete out the information uh, again you're going to pick the uh, type of label and uh, brand and then click new document 
Now, because that box was empty, we have a completely blank page here. Uh, but you'll notice you still have the lines and, and columns and rows for the labels themselves. Uh, so at this point, you can actually just start typing whatever information you want in that label. Uh, and then move your mouse, click into the next label, and start typing into that one. And you can just repeat that for each label that you want. Again, you may apply uh, different fonts and styles if you wish. Once you're done, once again, you would just simply put the label sheet into your printer, hit the print button, which is up here, or you can click file, and then go down to print, print out your sheet, and you're done. I hope that I have helped to give you some information about just creating some very basic, simple labels using OpenOffice Writer. Uh, if you have any other questions please feel free to contact us you may find us on Facebook at PC setup and training or facebook.com forward slash PC setup dot info I hope that uh, I've been some help thank you